Hi, my name is Danny, and I'm a senior lecturer at the University of Auckland in the School of Psychology, and I'm also one of the members of the core management team for the NZAVS. One of my lines of research is focuses on the antecedents to people's engagement in collective action. So that is, why do people protest? We know that there's many inequities in society, and a central question in the psychological literature is, what motivates one person to protest, whereas another person winds up not engaging in collective action? Because the NZAVS contains nationally representative data, we're able to answer this question in a context in which other researchers typically have not had at their access. So that is, we're able to look at um, generalizable data from our sample population and use that to explain why people don't protest in general. One study in which we've recently conducted, um, Chris Sibley, Kumar Yogeswaran from Canterbury University, and myself, looked at the effects of political efficacy. So that is believing that your group has the ability to change government, leading to collective action. Critically, a lot of research in the past has suggested that this belief in political efficacy, again, the belief that you or your group can change the political institutions in which you live, is a critical predictor of engaging in collective action. Now, what Chris Kumar and I were thinking was, well, doesn't believing that you can change society, doesn't that also sort of suggest that society might be fair in some manner? As such, we tested the possibility that this political efficacy, again, the belief that you can change the political institutions in which you live, it might indirectly undermine people's willingness to engage in collective action by changing their perceptions in how fair society is. So the way that we addressed this question was we took data from times 3 and 3.5 of the NZAVS and looked to see if people's perceptions of political efficacy a measure that we included in time 3.5, if this was indirectly negatively associated with support for collective action via increases in people's perceptions that society is fair. In order to test this hypothesis, we conducted a set of structural equation models to see if political efficacy was indirectly associated with support for collective action via this perception that society was fair. As predicted, we saw the traditional link between political efficacy and support for collective action. So that is, just like past research has shown, people who believe that they can change the government are more willing to engage in collective action. So you believe that you can do something, you're more likely to do it. What's particularly surprising and what was new to the literature was that we showed that Perceptions of political efficacy also indirectly undermined people's support for collective action by increasing their belief that society was fair. So that is, people who felt like they could change the government, this wound up leading them to believe that society was fair, which in turn undermined their support for collective action. In terms of directions for future research, we really need to collect additional data on people's levels of political efficacy, their beliefs in the extent to which society is fair, and their support for collective action in order to see if this is a causal relationship or if this is more just something that we're picking up uh, at a single snapshot of time. At this point, I'd really like to thank the participants in the NZAVS. Without your continued support, we wouldn't be able to answer key theoretical questions in the literature like this, and we'd also be unable to continue providing valuable information to both the scientific community and to New Zealand society at large. So thank you very much.